Happy Tube Tuesday, everybody. Uh, Moon Pies here from netstories.com. And this week I'm going to talk about annotations in this weekly How to Make Money on YouTube series. And of course, annotations is something that's been around in YouTube pretty much since the beginning. You have the ability to post production once a video is already uploaded on YouTube to add notes, speech bubbles, spotlights, titles, things that it may be better to do after it's up on YouTube because if you ever have to change it, if it's actually hard coded into the video, if you did it before you uploaded it and put titles and these things, you can't take them out. You actually have to take the video down or, or re upload a new version of the video. You don't have to do this if you go through the YouTube title, you know, the annotations route. And uh, it's, it's something you could do when, let's say, you have a video that needs a little spicing up. Let's say you're going through a little dull patch within a video and you want to make things a little more interesting. Really? It's happening now. I am boring now. Okay. You get the gist of how you can use annotations to spice things up. But of course, it's not just about making your videos more interesting. You can use it to engage the viewer and actually have your old videos and your new videos and link to one another and create more of a dynamic bond between your properties. Let me give you an example. Well, my most popular video on YouTube and probably the first one that you saw to get over here is five ways to make money on YouTube and it's been uploaded three or four years ago yet it continues to get about more than a thousand dollars more than a thousand dollars I wish a thousand dollars more than a thousand views uh, on any given day and it's up to about eight hundred thousand views and you can work the math uh, you know it is and it's still generating as many views now as it was when it was first uploaded it's actually generating more now that there's more people on YouTube and I hadn't put an annotation on it which is silly of me because why would I have that empty real estate space I'm collecting a thousand some people there and I know a lot of people subscribe to me from that video why not cash in um, so what I did is last week I put in a speech bubble version of the annotation there's four or five different versions you can use I like speech bubble because it gives you it has like the comic strip speech bubble that speaking but instead of pointing down you can actually you can point it down to the comic box you can also point it up to where the subscriber box is um, so um, what I like to do with that is I have, actually have it a big orange lettering pointing up to so the little point of the speech bubble points right to the subscribe button and explaining hey I'm putting out weekly lessons now if you don't want to miss the next lesson subscribe something to that message to that effect and what I noticed is over the past week since I put that up last Tuesday the number of subscribers that I've received from that video um, and you can see this through the insight uh, YouTube insight uh, stats that, that from the YouTube part of it has doubled so I've gotten uh, from the week before so I got twice as many subscribers this past week than I did the week before obviously it's not a very enough sample size to be definite but I'm pretty sure that by telling people encouraging people to subscribe and telling them that hey if you like this this isn't just some monthly or annual series like it was originally I'm putting out videos every week it's encouraging people to subscribe to this channel and you could be doing the same to you and, and this is one of the most important things about annotations is that not only is it fluid, you can keep changing them, your old videos too. It's not just about putting a new video in annotations. You can go back and change your old videos. A lot of times you may have an old video that you uploaded a couple years ago, a couple months ago, you completely forgot about, but it's actually starting to pick up stream. You know, and it's becoming one of your more popular videos, and there's no annotation there. Why wouldn't you go back to that video, annotate with a link back to either your current videos or to make it more current, just encourage subscribers or have a link and you can put links on these on these annotations which is the cool thing have a link to your profile page or a profile to a, to a related video you did after that so one video leads to another and it's gonna flow a lot better that way especially with with people watching your videos it, it, it more of a creates of a of, you know of a tapestry um, that may be the one and only time I use the word tapestry in any of these uh, weekly uh, installments so you have many options. You have a speech bubble, um, which I already went over. You went note, which is basically the same speech bubble bold type thing, except without the little speech arrow. And if you do any of these, I, I recommend whether you're a partner or you want to be a partner or you want to possibly have a video that be, becomes part of the individual video partnership, don't put annotations under the bottom quarter of the page because that's where the ads will be if you get to that point and you know you don't want to just have ads and covering up your text and vice versa you know you want to move everything up and obviously you don't want to be covering something important in your annotations so if you're you know if you're taking a you know a silver bluffs or some you know the grand canyon you know some great 
nice. You don't want to mess that up with an annotation, at least not at a point where you have something worth watching. So put them in the right place, but also use them for other purposes. You can make interactive videos. One of my, I'm going to call it ambitious, but it was really zero budget and, and, and free stuff. Uh, I did a video when my family went to a beach vacation uh, out in Sunny Isles Beach uh, a summer or two ago. And me and my youngest son, we just basically filmed three different things, like a Gatorade bottle, a, a, a pizza box, a, cu a cake box. And people would pick on one of the three, and then we would take that and throw it down the trash chute. Using annotations, you can make interactive videos like that. And a lot of people have done actual, like, actual real mysteries and comedies and, and, and horror flicks on YouTube using these, that interactive feature. I, I just use the rudimentary of it, which basically, you know, one, two, three, and then click on that will show you that result, and then everything reverted back to the original. You can flowchart a really comprehensive, interactive thing and upload four, five, ten, twenty parts um, onto YouTube and have them all hooked together through annotations. Um, I'm putting the link to that uh, trash shoot one, but you know it's it's rinky, but it will tell you, give you maybe inspire you to come up with something cooler, which shouldn't be hard. I guarantee you're cooler than me. And you can also use it for other things to promote other videos. At the end of a video, a lot of times. What I did uh, uh, two weeks ago, with I had a words with friends engagement thing, and uh, to encourage people to interact in engagement. And the, the the three people that have come close to beating me, uh, the one person that did beat me, and the two others that have come close to beating me, I linked to them their page, you know, annotated to their YouTube page. So you can actually get together with other people and promote one another that way through annotations. Your page links to them, their page will link back to you, their video. It's all it all works together. So as long as you're creative and you can use these annotations. They're there to be used. They're there to be changed. So, you know, months from now, you may want to change the annotations, and there's nothing set in stone. It's just like you change the, the descriptions and the tags that have gone through other videos, you can also change annotations and link within the annotations. Why wouldn't you do that? It's just an easy way to make your videos more engaging and also to cash in on your old properties and tie everything together in a way that something like the playlist feature that they have may not be as intuitive as simple as a link hey this I, I this video you know relates to something I did back then and it, link it all together yourself don't let YouTube's engine figure it out for you so that's it that's this week's lesson I hope you've enjoyed it and I know I've put a few more annotations than usual here just to uh, make my point don't overuse annotations I guess is, is the point which I probably shouldn't have done this video but put them within measure and when they're relevant if you're discussing something that deserves a link back to an earlier video don't force people to find it just put the link to make them find it it's as simple as that you have a tool use it and I'll see you next week happy Tuesday happy tube Tuesday